Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time with my good friend, Omar, my real estate entrepreneur. How are you doing, sir? Pretty good. How are you? Hey, you brought up something in episode number two when we talked about the future that I wanted to do our own episode on. And that is, I want to play what if, I want to play guessing game, I want to play prediction, whatever you want to call it. But what happens if the 30-year mortgage goes to 1.75% by next summer? I've never thought about it. Have We've only thought about it for two minutes, but let's just riff on what happens if interest rates on the 30 year fix go to 1.75. What do you, th what, what, what are some things you think happen? You know what, <laughs> if, if we hit 1.7% for a 30 year in the next 12 to 18 months or sooner, we are going to have, you think we didn't have inventory then or just recently? Yeah. Everyone everyone will be able to qualify for a home okay now listen to this every mcdonald's employee every walmart greeter every person that has a job will be able to qualify for something okay this is where three people are going to get qualified three different incomes and they're going to be buying houses mm -hmm. okay this will happen and if it does happen the inventory that we see that's increasing a little bit right now is going to get sucked up. Yeah. Then what? We might actually see a 400, 410, 425 median home price in our area. Yeah. Same, same with you in Fresno. Oh, there, there's no question. I've actually done the math, not recently, but I did it like six months ago when somebody brought this up before. Right. So again, think about it, right? We just did episode number two where rates were 3%. We're basically cutting them in half, basically at 1.75. And you're right. People with any full-time job will be able to afford a home at today's prices. But here's the rub. What did we see here this year? Prices accelerate at stupid levels. If we get a 1.75 30-year mortgage, I could see housing. I mean, I have to do the math, but 30%. 30% in a year up. If we, it, that, you know how scary that is? Yeah. On back of a 20% year. Yeah. That's, that's kind of frightening. It's frightening because where does it go after that? Where does it go after that? Does we have to look at four years from now? Yeah. All three incomes for one home because of the 1.75% interest rate. Then what? Sure, you'll have a 50% increase over the last two years. Mm -hmm. And that's that's ridiculous. You're buying a fifty thousand dollar house, not saying anything good, and you know, you're selling it. Yeah. For a lot more. Yeah. I mean, it, I look just yeah, it's it's for me, it's I'll all sell everything, put it that way. Yeah. For well, yeah. I mean, if we if we again my my story is pretty clear. My, my first book talks about it, right? When stuff gets unaffordable and I, and I track the affordability index in California, which you do as well, I'll sell, right? If Fresno ever gets to an affordability of 20 or 20, 23, I'll sell every house I have, right? Today we're 42, 43. But, if, rate, but if rates go from 3% to one and a half, that 42, just so you guys know what happens, it probably jumps to 68, right? Because it's about payment. It's income and payment and price or interest rate and price makes payment. So yeah, affordability will jump if rates go there. But again, what else happens, right? We've seen this movie before. Prices go up. Guess what happens to rent? Rent rent follows value, right? Values go first, rent chases. And not to not to add fuel to the fire, but if rates go to 1.75 and we get a first time home buyer tax credit, we we have a so demand will We'll have we'll have forty buyers for every house. It'll it'll be. You thought last year was stupid. I could. Oh my god! Just think about this, Omar. One point seven five interest rate, first time home buyer tax credit, and forty year mortgages. Oh my god. A forty year mortgage. <laughs> your your payment is less than a damn car. I know. Oh no, that that could yeah. be a that could be a problem. And, and at that point, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't, shit. Yeah, yeah, it's like, ah, what do I do? 
I, I don't even know what to think on that one. Yeah, because you could take, I mean, what's the median price today in your area? Like 380? Yeah, 375. 375, 380. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I didn't know if you heard her whining, but she wanted to get on camera, I think. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, this is happy. So let's say 380 today, right? So we go from 3% to 1.75. We go from a 30 year to here. We do a first time home buyer. I mean, you could be at five and a quarter. You know, it won't, it won't be immediate, but you'll race to five. And that'll be medium price. Has your price ever been five and a quarter? No, never. Not even close, right? What's the peak? Is, is now the peak or was 06 the peak? For, no, 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 right now, yeah. we're higher than 06. Okay, yeah. Our peak right now is, our peak in 06 was three hundred and forty-eight, three hundred and fifty thousand dollars Okay. Now wow. we're at 375, 380. We mm -hmm. were, we're going to hit 400. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. And if you do that into a market, because again, people, real estate is weird because demand moves so much faster than supply, right? Builders will eventually start building again when they get labor and they get material and lots, but demand moves lightning fast. Supply moves kind of slow. So, yeah, you, you take a 375, basically cut the rate in half. And oh, by the way, we're going to have higher incomes as well, because I think inflation is real. Woo! Values will race, then rents will race. And, you know, we'll be talking about a national average of like 500 grand. It, 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 it hurts my head to think about it. It actually scares me a little bit. Where does it, where does it go after that? I mean, I think best case is it just flat lines, right? Because again, it's all about affordability. Um, and when we did that 50 year spreadsheet together, the big, my big takeaway is incomes lead housing, right? Every year there was a big income jump, housing moved the next year. But right now we're playing with funny money. We're just, we're lowering interest rates. And I mean, what are we gonna do? We're gonna eventually go negative, right? We're gonna have a negative 30 year mortgage. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, yeah, it it, um, it frightens me a little bit what what might happen if we we tie all of that together, cut the rates yeah. in half, forty year mortgage. It's... Talking about it is fucking crazy. Yeah, to your point though, I would be. Uh, uh, I'm I would, not. I'd sell. <laughs> yeah, I'd sell everything and go rent one of my rentals. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Right. That's what some people did in 06, 07. Right. I 1031 out of houses into apartments, but some people sold. Right. And they just sat back and waited. So maybe that becomes the option. So I don't know, Omar, this was kind of scary. 1.75 interest rate. I don't see it. I'm not predicting it, but sometimes we have to think about what if. So do me a favor. How can people follow you? Be part of your world. Follow me on IG, guys, Omar underscore Alfaro. Uh, we bring some content with everything. I mean, obviously, talk about uh, Michael Zuber a lot as well. And, um, yeah, I appreciate him having us on the, or having me on the show. And it's awesome. I look forward to every Tuesday. Me too, brother. Reach out, guys. Thank you very much, man. Take care. And just where you know, Happy says, take, have a great day. What's up, Happy? <laughs> <laughs> take care. Thanks, bud.